Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy Tristan Barrett here, The Digital Storyteller, and I'm super excited to be with you again for another episode of Cinecut. We're, we'll be continuing on our video series on the Rodecaster Pro. In this particular video, we'll be focusing on how to use the Rodecaster Pro as your main audio interface for your laptop, your desktop, and beyond. Are you ready? I'm ready, let's go, woo! I'm excited to do this video because I think this video will help out a lot of people. Um, many people wonder how you can get crispy, creamy audio, and it's actually pretty, pretty easy to do that, but you just have to have the right equipment and the right cabling. It's been a really, really convoluted sort of process. Uh, I, I used to use, and still do to a certain extent, use my Zoom F4 and Zoom F8 as my audio interfaces for some of my computer setups. And although those are really good tools, they're not really designed for that type of use. So, I mean, although they can provide audio for your computer, it's not really designed to talk to your computer in that capacity. And the thing that I love about the Rodecaster Pro is that it is designed that way. It's actually designed to do a multiplicity of things very, very well. So I'm gonna quickly show you how to connect this to your laptop, to your desktop, how to get crispy, creamy sound um, in a few minutes without even breaking a sweat. So the first thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need this USB cable, the USB cable that came in the actual pack. So it's a, a traditional USB uh, end to a USB-C end. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna plug it into the back of the Rodecaster. Once you plug it into the back of the Rodecaster, you're gonna take this other end of the cable and you're gonna plug that into your laptop. Now, for those of you that are using newer Macs like I am, you're gonna have to use one of these dongles here, uh, which are, are pretty cheap on Amazon. You probably already have it for other things that you're doing. Uh, so this dongle uh, actually allows you to take in USB 3 uh, inputs, and then it has uh, a uh, USB-C port on the other end. So I'm gonna plug this in directly into my computer here. Now when you open up your computer, what you need to do is you need to go to the Apple uh, button and then you're gonna go to System Preferences. Now for those of you that are using PCs, I don't know what to do, I, I don't use PCs, so can't really help you. But <laughs> the, no, honestly, the, the settings are, are pretty similar in the sense of going to Control pal Panel instead of going to System Preferences. It's, this, it's just really terminologies, but you wanna go to your audio settings on your computer, whether it's PC or Mac. So under under the Mac, you're gonna to go to, you wanna to go to sound, and then once you go to sound, you what you wanna do is you wanna actually uh, figure out which options you wanna select for your sound input options. Now, when we're talking about sound inputs, or the difference between the input and the output, the input is the audio that's being received by your computer. So what we're telling the computer is that we want the Rodecaster Pro to send an audio signal to our computer for using the USB-C uh, cable that we have connected to it. Um, so that's, that's what we wanna do. Now, we have to also select the type of mix that we want, right? Do we want to send a stereo mix, which is, which is uh, under the option of Rodecaster Pro Stereo, or do we wanna send a Rodecaster Pro multi-channel mix? The stereo mix basically bakes in all of the tracks that are being recorded at the same time by the Rodecaster Pro, sends it through the USB-C cable, and then sends it to the computer as a, as a, a pre-mix or a finished mix. The multi-track, or multi-channel means that it's taking each one of these channels, one, two, three, four, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, taking it, sending it through the USB uh, cable into the, the computer, and then once it sends it to the computer, it's actually sending it as individual tracks. So if you wanna do some more additional mixing or if you wanna mix uh, all of those different tracks in a program like Logic Pro X or, or Phonica Pro, whatever else, I mean, Phonica Pro is not an audio program, but you get what I mean, um, you can do that in your computer. So really it just depends on what you wanna do in terms of uh, bit, bit rate um, as well as you know, the processing power of your computer. Um, in this particular case, because we're just using it as an audio interface, maybe to, to you know, just to get clean audio 
into our computer and then playing out of our computer, I would just go to the Rodecaster Pro stereo op option. So I'm gonna click on that. That's the stereo option, it's giving us uh, stereo levels and that's great. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to output because we have to select a proper output and we're gonna select the uh, Rodecaster Pro stereo output. So right now it's saying that there's no, uh, there's no device that has been selected for output controls and that's fine. Um, once we're done with that, we're just gonna hit X and that's, gonna, that's going to complete that transaction. So now that we have that set up, we're pretty much good to go in terms of getting audio uh, to our computer from the Rodecaster Pro as well as audio from our computer to the Rodecaster Pro. And there you have it. That's how you set up the Rodecaster Pro as your audio interface for your computer. It's really, really simple. It's not that hard to do. It takes about three or four minutes to set up and you're good to go from there. Hey, let me know what you think about this video and the other videos I've been creating. And if you like what you see, please consider subscribing to my channel. Also, give me a thumbs up and also ask any questions or make any comments below in the comment section. And I promise you I'll respond back to you in a timely fashion. Thank you so much. Stay creative, stay positive, and stay safe. Peace.